You ready for this one? Sure. All right. All right. Hello and welcome, everyone. Another Friday beer review. Today we got Firestone Walker Double Mind Haze. Mm hmm. This is a new one for me. I haven't had this one yet. I've had a lot of Firestone Walker stuff, and I really like what they bring to the table. Probably poured way too much head on that one, but I am a terrible pour on this. <laughs> His is looking way better than mine already. Well, I'm no expert. I'm just good at drinking beer. <gasps> Let's see, how old are we? Very fresh, very fresh. About a month old. Very excited so far yeah. because I like these guys. Have you had Firestone Walker before? I have not. I haven't heard of it. I uh, don't know much about it. But, California. Uh, California. I, I love California, so that's a good thing. And uh, it's got a beautiful can art. You can't even see it. But it's, yeah, whatever. I'll fix it later. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. So nice, hazy looking, kind of yellowy, orangey. It kind of smells sweet. Yeah. Or is it just my bad sense of smell? I don't know. Golly, that's pretty. That's pretty solid. There's a lot going on in that glass. It's a party in your mouth. That. So, the one thing I instantly took away from this one is the sheer number of hops in this beer. We got Mandarina, Cascade, Azaka, Azaka, El Dorado, Mosaic, Chinook. Kashmir, Kalista, Idaho 7? How many hops is that? Like 50? I don't know. That's quite a few. That's a lot of freaking hops, dude. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a lot. Sometimes when that happens, I, I kind of don't really like, I don't know, just, it seems like too much. You're yeah. putting weight, but then maybe it's also kind of like, you know, a stew or a chili, you know, you throw everything that you got in the kitchen into a pot, let it simmer. It's delicious. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not hating this, but... There's a lot of different flavors happening at once. But nothing is overpowering. Mm -hmm. I don't think. It's a, a very smooth blend. Yeah. A lot of flavors, of course, but they don't... I don't yeah, know. It's just, it's a lot of... I don't even know how to describe the flavors. I don't either. I don't pick up anything in particular. Like, as far as tropical or citrusness, a little bit, but it's... It's a real, this is really weird to describe. <laughs> I don't want to say it's the water of beers because mm. it is absolutely not. <laughs> but you think in that context, that yeah, a lot of flavors, but you can't pick out any which one. I don't. Yeah, it's don't it's know. really interesting. I think I can taste some of the different hops, but like, there's a there's a ton of hop flavor for sure. He's better than I am there's at a, that. There's a lot of hop flavor going on in this one, and it's super, yeah. it's super light tasting for a double. Yeah. Somehow, I don't know. Like it's. This is a double, isn't it? Yeah, and the bitterness yeah. is really down. Yeah. Like it, there's, I, I don't really notice like any bitterness. It's no. It's kind of surprising for the amount of hops and being a double IPA. Yeah, it is kind of the the palate cleanser. But it's also. Pretty darn easy to drink. Yeah, it is. Surprisingly. Good thing we have six of them. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, right on the box it says canned okay. February 9th. Oh, nice. That's really cool because I've definitely been screwed over in the past by that. Buying a box like this, and all of a sudden, hey, it's not good. It's old as F. Yeah. I hate that. Nope, brand new. And it is kind of a, it's smooth. And it's kind of thick, but it's not filling, which is kind of a an interesting. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's kind of an oxymoron. Yeah, kind of. It is. It is a lot thicker, I guess, than the last one we had. Yeah. Yep. It's absolutely. a lot heavier. It is. But you could have a few if you wanted. Yeah. And I want to. Yeah. <laughs> and at eight point three percent ABV, you're gonna have a good time. <laughs> yep. You're gonna have a pretty good party on your hands, I think. We're not driving tonight, so. No, definitely not. Not after uh, crushing this case, but 
Holy crap. Yeah, oh. this, overall, I don't know. I'm pretty impressed. Yeah. I think it's pretty good. It's, it, it tastes kind of apricot-y. If I had to pick like a flavor note. It tastes very... Like, it's not sweet. It's kind of... Like, apricot's that one weird fruit where it's like... It's a fruit, so you kind of think, hey, sweet, but it's kind of like the weird tartness, mm -hmm. you know? But yeah, that's that's a good way to describe it. It's kind of like a banana and an apricot kind of. It's Ooh. not very tropical, but I, I think that's a good way to describe it. Yeah, I like it. I I'd I like buy it, it again. Yeah. I didn't buy it this time, but I no, will buy it again. Yeah. It's, that makes sense. Yeah. It doesn't make me feel like I'm a, is it like Ursa Minor or something like that? I mean, it kind of looks like a constellation, a bear or something like that. They kind of look like constellations. It looks like, I don't know, I guess if you finished off all six of these by yourself, I think your mind would be in a freaking pretty cloudy haze. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be seeing stars. <laughs> That'd be pretty, pretty fun. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this one's very drinkable. Yeah, absolutely. I'd recommend it overall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Good aroma. Good follow through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For a double IPA, light, drinkable. Surprisingly drinkable. But yeah. I don't. I, again, I'm just kind of stuck on the fact that I don't know how to describe the flavors, other than just kind of a little bit tart, a little bit apricotty. Not super tropical, but overall smooth drinking. And with that, I think a good blend. Yeah. Whatever they're doing, yeah. they're they're doing something right yeah. because it, yeah, it meshes well. Yeah. It makes it very very palatable. And a California beer that we can get in Minnesota. Yeah. That's thank you. That's pretty. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> it's pretty Keep, awesome. Bring it on. Yeah, it's not. Please you know, yeah. continue. There's not a lot of. I don't. Know, I feel like. Being in the middle of the country makes it a little easier to get some of that stuff. Also, maybe a little bit more difficult because it's like Minnesota. I don't know. Yeah. We have a lot of good stuff here, but like trying to get a variety from outside the country or outside the state rather is sometimes difficult. There's not a lot of people that distribute here with a lot of outdated liquor laws and stuff here. And yep, yep. So I think we get overlooked, but if they could please uh, revisit. Replenish, uh, add to the liquor stores around here. So thank you, Firestone Walker, for making a really good beer and distributing it to Minnesota for us corn folk. <laughs> 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 right? I don't know. Is that, is that probably what California people think of us? Corn? Well, I mean, we do a lot of corn. Yep. yep. Iowa does too. We're, we're Midwesterners. Yeah. Uh, we're, all, we're, we're all the, the same. Iowa, the flyover I'm sure, states. Yeah, I'm I guess, sure California uh, thinks the same as, as Iowa as they do in Minnesota. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're all in yeah. the same region and Whatever whatnot. Region, so. you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. I like it a lot. Let's start shipping it this way. 10 out of 10 would buy again. <laughs> mm. So I guess. Uh, Thank you for staying tuned to another Friday Beer Reviews. Hopefully you enjoy having special guests on my channel. It's, hopefully it's fun and different and exciting and new. If you do enjoy it, make sure you leave a like, a comment. Let me know what you're drinking, what I should be drinking, what we should be drinking. Yeah. I'd like to try new things if you have any suggestions. Otherwise, uh, consider subscribing for weekly beer reviews. Cheers. <laughs>